Robert Sterrett. How do you spell it? Last name is S-T-E-R-R-E-T-T. -E -T. And your position in the company? I'm a Glendale Patrol Sergeant. All right, Sergeant, uh, take us a picture from start to finish. What basically call for service was a gentleman was breaking into the school located on 55th Avenue, just north of Grand. Initial call was a male individual had broken a window out of the school, was trying to gain entry. Once officers arrived on scene, basic information was that there was possible breaking at the school. Officers immediately found the suspect at the school and a foot chase was given. It was later determined that the subject had actually attempted to break into a vehicle at a nearby house and had assaulted the homeowner when he had confronted the suspect in reference to the uh, car being broken into. The subject had then left the house where he attempted to break into the car and actually went to the school and then broke into the school. Officers had actually given foot pursuit of the gentleman and he was later found detained here at the Wesley Motorsports fenced in yard. Uh, the subject did not want to give up, at which point in time a police canine was deployed and the subject was bit. What are the extent of his injuries? He had minor lacerations to his leg. It's common from a dog bite. He was taken to a local hospital for treatment. Um, it, the, the, the suspect that was uh, that confronted him whose car was being stolen or attempted to be broken into, was he injured in any way? He had minor injuries. Officers did check him to see if he needed any treatment and they did end up taking a report for him for assault as well as his vehicle being broken into. Any injuries to officers? We did have one officer ended up with a minor injury to his leg uh, during the scuffle trying to take the suspect into, into custody. And where, where were both scenes at? Where was the initial scene of the car? Can you give us a general area? It was also on 55th Avenue, right next to the school. So what had happened is when the homeowner had confronted the subject at his house, he then ran basically across the street and made entry into the school. And what's, what school are we talking about? It's the Isaac Imes School on 55th Avenue. And where are we at right here where this finally concluded? We're on Grand Avenue, just northwest of 55th Avenue. And uh, what charges are the, this guy looking at at this point? There's going to be multiple charges for the attempted breaking into the motor vehicle, the assault, breaking into the school, as well as the trespassing for the property. And nothing else had happened prior to the breaking with this individual? He wasn't wanted for anything else or anything like that? No, it was unknown if he was wanted for anything else. The initial call was the breaking at the school. Great. Any indication that he might have been under the influence of drugs or alcohol? Or didn't know? appear so. It didn't appear that he was under the influence of anything during the contact. Great. The, uh, the police canine um, uh, was sent uh, to, to track him, is that correct, or was, was, he, was, was the canine sent because he was threatening the officers? The canine is generally deployed once we have a, a violent felony crime that's in progress. Officers had given multiple commands for the subject to surrender. He refused to surrender, was running across businesses through fenced yards, across a roof, several different locations. Due to the risk of injury of officers, a dog is generally deployed to protect the officers. And did that go through your textbook? Yes, it went very easily. Once the subject was contacted by the dog, then he, was, he did give up and was taken into custody.